Hello friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Mani Shresht, working as assistant professor at Haryana School of Business, GJ University of Science and Technology, Hisar. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic performance management system. Before starting the discussion, let us have a look at the contents. We start with the introduction of the topic followed by relevance and features of performance management system, conceptual model of performance management system and followed by summary of the discussion. After this lecture, the students will understand the importance and features of performance management system. Another learning objective is to get familiarity of the students with the framework of performance management system in an organization. Performance management in any organization strives to develop an expected level of performance by an employee. A smooth communication between managers and employees measures actual performance against preset standards. In the process of performance management, both individual and organizational goals are expected to be achieved. Whether an organization is doing fine totally depends on the performance of its human components. In order to enable any idea, thought or intent work in an organization, a well defined system is required. A system approach to any concept clarifies how the outcome would be achieved, which would be the major component of the system and how these components are related to each other to give a desired result. A system approach also defines how a smaller part is contributing to the whole system. Any system works on three basic elements input, throughput and output. These basic elements suggest that for any system to work efficiently, certain input actions are taken including people, efforts, planning, resources and then these inputs go through a series of activities also known as throughput to eventually get the desired output. In relation to performance, organizations generally introduce a system that takes care of attainment of organizational goals through continuously keeping a check on the performance of employees. Such system is popularly known as performance management system or PMS. An effective performance management system offers a unique set of tools to improve the performance of the organization at all levels. To handle the challenges of complicated business environment, organizations require inclusion of right kind of people that possess right kind of skills for a job to deliver expected performance. With the passage of time, these employees require an updation in terms of development of competencies. A performance management system helps in identifying the training requirements at different levels through regular monitoring and feedback about performance gaps. A successful performance management system establishes a directly proportional relationship between rewards for performance and competency of an individual. Apart from justified financial rewards, a performance management system also provides opportunities for development of career at individual level. Here are the few understandings and definitions related to performance management system. Performance management system is a series of activities consisting of identification of critical performance dimensions planning of performance, setting of performance goals, review performance and provide feedback and finally developing the future performance by way of training. Another explanation of performance management system is, it is a system that enables to keep a watch on the performances of individuals, groups and organizations as a whole. Performance management is a resource that is used to keep a track on the performance of the employees in the organization. 
it is considered as an effective aid for business intelligence. And another understanding of performance management that it is an effective performance management system establishes true pay for performance culture in the organization and eventually offers increased employee engagement. Now let us see certain relevance and features of performance management system. Performance does not improve on its own. A system is required to manage the performance at the expected level. Every performance management system must comprise certain essentials to work properly. Following are the essentials of an excellent performance management system. These are committed apex body, complete involvement, training, performance acknowledgement and incentive. The first essential that is committed apex body, in this the senior management of the organization must ensure that they themselves are committed towards improvement of performance. They must be convinced of the basic idea of introducing performance management system in the organization. They should also believe that a systematic approach is a correct way of improving performance. Their commitment must be displayed in their actions. If the top management is committed and display the same through their behaviors, it will give a positive message down the line. It will also indicate to the lower down the order that performance would not be compromised at any cost. The top management should mention in their formal and informal communication with all the levels about the relevance of better performance. The next essential of performance management system is complete involvement. In order to get desired results from a performance management system, involvement of each and every section of the organization is required. Goal setting is an important aspect of performance management. As goal setting is done jointly, it demands participation of all the people in the organization to achieve common goals. A wholehearted involvement increases the commitment level of employees and facilitates smooth and effective communication between managers and employees. Training no manager or employee in the organization is perfect. Everyone lacks somewhere or the other. So it is important to incorporate the component of training to increase the effectiveness of performance management system. As managers and employees are the integral part of a performance management system, they must be trained in their area of deficiency so that they could extract maximum benefit out of a performance management system. A manager should be trained in the area of goal setting in terms of its clarity and measurability. Also, managers require honing of their counseling and mentoring skills that enables to provide appropriate feedback and conduct a correct review of performance. The other human component of the system is employees. Employee need to be educated to get an understanding about usefulness and working of performance management system. Other areas that require training of an employee are communication and skill acquisition. Organization has to understand that training is not a one time activity and it is essential to train as and when situation demands. The next essential is performance acknowledgement. Expecting a good performance is one thing, but once a good performance is delivered, it is also equally important to give it proper recognition. Proper recognition to the excellent efforts of employees acts as a motivation factor not only to an individual, but as a team. It is extremely important for developing a performance oriented culture in the organization. 
a simple practice of performance recognition offers the benefits of getting highly committed and motivated team. The next essential is incentive. Recognizing the good performance is not sufficient. A good performance management system must ensure that excellent efforts of the employees must be suitably compensated through various financial and non-financial measures. An adequate linkage between performance and incentives offered induce a high level of motivation among the employees in an organization. It is also important to see that connecting every performance to only financial incentive could be risky. It is suggested to create a right balance of financial and non-financial incentives for the good work of employees. In a broader system, all the subsystems strive to achieve the main aim. On the same grounds, performance management subsystem contributes towards attainment of ultimate organizational goals. It offers a set of techniques and tools to improve the overall attainment of organizational performance. It encompasses inducting right kind of people in the system and providing opportunities for continuous career development. A performance management system gives a sense of fairness and reliability, considers only those performance benchmarks which are predetermined jointly by employees and managers, establishes a regular communication mechanism between the managers and employees to remind performance expectations, fixes accountability of the actions taken by the employees, provides flexibility to the whole system to accommodate newer challenges that come up with the passage of time. It also correlates compensation and rewards with performance. It ensures alignment between individual and organizational goals. A performance management system demands maximum improvement in performance at all the levels of the organization. It also provides a career growth opportunity to the individual. It is fitting in right kind of people to perform a job. It identifies the performance gaps and highlights the training needs of employees through specific mining out of their strengths and weaknesses. It also provides freedom to teams to devise their own way of working for desired performance. And finally, it establishes a supportive work environment to help employees in charting out development development plan. Any performance management system could only be established on a strong foundation. There exist four cornerstones for establishing an effective performance management system. These cornerstones are setting performance expectation, developing competencies, encouraging manpower, and timely reinforcement through proper feedback. Setting performance expectations include deciding on what has to be performed and how to get the desired performance. It acts as a guiding force for the streamlined effort of the employees in reaching the desired results. Second cornerstone of performance management system states about the development of desired competencies to perform at the expected level. Such knowledge and skill based competencies could be developed through identification of training needs and fulfilling them through continuous coaching. It is a fact that only a competent employee can deliver the high level of performances in the organization. The next cornerstone describes 
the value of encouragement to get the desired performance. A highly skilled but demotivated employee always lack in delivering high level of performance. It is important to connect achievement of desired performance with various financial and non-financial rewards. Presence of performance based reward system in the organization increases the chance of motivated workforce. Any performance without a feedback is like a ship without a rudder. It is pertinent to establish a real time feedback system to get timely information about the performance. Any aberration in expected performance and actual performance could be rectified in time if a feedback system is in place. These four cornerstones of performance management system are committed to enhance the performance of the organization at all the levels. Conceptual model of performance management system. The main aim of any performance management system is to improve the performance. Each system works on the basis of connecting various elements of the system logically to get the desired outcome. A performance management system could deliver only through well laid objectives which are connected through proper measurement of performance followed by a suitable reward mechanism. Various elements of performance management system could be understood as alignment of objectives, performance need estimation, setting performance expectation, activate performance management process, measuring performance management effectiveness. Alignment of objectives through performance management system organizational objectives are aligned with the individual job related objectives. It involves understanding of organizational goals which in turn helps in deciding various strategic options. Broader organizational goals guide whether to opt for expansion, stability or retrenchment strategies. Each such strategy provides further options to choose from. Alignment of objectives elements also focuses on the stand of organization on its competitive position. A continuous all round effort is required to improve or even maintain the competitive position. The important ingredients to sustain the competitive position are assessing the strengths and weaknesses in light of changing business environmental situation, identification of various critical issues that need attention, analysis of internal and external opportunities with the purpose of detecting potential areas of growth and exploration of ways to exploit maximum opportunities with the existing competencies and resources. Here optimum utilization of internal competencies is crucial to increase the performance of the organization. These essentials are crucial and influence on the organizational objectives and strategies. The second component of conceptual model of performance management system is performance need estimation. Once the organizational objectives are set and strategies are finalized, an assessment of performance related needs is required. Performance need estimation involves concerns ranging from identification of competencies to the acknowledgement of organizational value system. Identification of competencies in terms of skills and resources is done. These competencies are instrumental in creating competitive advantage for an organization. In today's world, know-how is considered as the most valuable competency of an organization. The know-how is totally based on skills and knowledge of its employees. Although each competency is susceptible to reproduction by the competitors, 
but highly knowledgeable workforce provide uniqueness which is difficult to copy. An intelligent workforce is an asset to any organization and the next step under performance need estimation involves collection of vital concerns related information. These vital issues listing enables the organization to identify grey areas whose presence could hamper the production of high level of performance. Need assessment aims at identifying future requirements of the organization in the light of changing business scenario. It provides a basis for developing key success factors related to framework, performance and incentive. Identification of performance related issues, their coverage area and magnitude of impact on the overall attainment of organizational goal needs to be done. Once identified, these problems need to be prioritized in order of their urgency to be taken care of. So, priority setting is done for the critical issues with a backdrop of newer challenging scenario. The final aspect of performance need estimation focus on setting a boundary for the conduct of all the activities of the organization. This boundary is set through acknowledging the core organizational values. These core values help the employees to obtain the desired level of performance by using ethical means only. The next component of performance management system is setting performance expectation. The next move after estimating performance related needs is to set performance expectations for managers and employees. Achievement of these expectations eventually results into attainment of organizational objectives. Major deliberations under this stage involve concerns ranging from determining current performance situation to the linkage between individual and organizational goals. Here it is important to decide the priority of a performance on the grounds of essentials to desirable. Such exercise acts as a guide to adopt focus approach for achieving a particular performance first. A thorough analysis of current performance clearly extracts the area of deficiency. A gap analysis helps to identify the thrust area of improvement. Once the actual and expected performance status is clear, both managers and employees come together and deliberate upon the key focus areas of performance. Such key performance area parameters act as a benchmark for the success or a failure of a performance management system. They also strive to develop a strategy for effective communication. End result of such deliberations is an agreement towards performance expectations in the backdrop of organizational objectives. Each section of the organization is assigned to a key performance parameter that becomes performance target for an individual performing a specific job in a department. So, achievement of individual performance leads to department or working unit performance achievement. If working unit performs well on pre-decided parameters, it eventually helps the organization in achieving the desired level of performance. This stage also demands a proper alignment of individual goals with organizational strategy, otherwise the situation might deviate an employee from his committed effort for performance. Another component is activate performance management process. In this phase, the manager and the employees come together and set the tone of performance for the upcoming year. Both the parties jointly come to a consensus regarding performance related matters 
for the next year. The focus of planning is in relation to identification of major areas where employee has to deliver performance oriented results, specific goals that needs to be attained by the employee in the decided areas, decision about the benchmark or performance standard against which results are to be compared, identification of performance factors that facilitate the smooth attainment of results, decision about the frequency of joint meeting to provide a feedback and finally completion of development plan. After planning in execution by both the parties managers and employees perform certain tasks. The period of execution is considered as appraisal period. An employee carries out all the activities as per planning. On the other hand, a manager carries out a regular monitoring of activities of employees and provides ongoing feedback and suggestion for improvement. After that, the actual performance of an employee during the appraisal period is assessed. Both manager and employee independently work on their assessment task. An employee goes for the self-assessment on how he or she is able to achieve the pre-planned goals. On the other hand, manager also prepares a list on how well the employee is able to achieve established performance factors. Then a meeting of manager and the employee to review the performance of the appraisal is carried out. They meet to discuss what has been achieved and where are the gaps that need correction. Here the comments of manager are discussed with the employee and chance is given to the employee to freely express his views. The last component is measuring performance management effectiveness. Major concerns related to measurement of performance management effectiveness underline that employees of the organization must develop in order to improve on the areas of underperformance. A holistic feedback by the manager also pinpoints the major areas of low performance on which counseling could be provided. Another issue worth mentioning under the heading is creation and proper execution of reward management system. This system acknowledges the efforts of an employee and links it with a suitable reward. The presence of reward system is instrumental in keeping up the motivation level of the employees. A performance management audit is also the integral part of performance management system. It is used as a diagnostic tool that identifies views of employees regarding performance management system and possibility for its benchmarking. Overall, an effective performance management system strives to manage an organization's human resource to deliver optimum performance. It commences at the time of starting of a job and ends with the employee getting separated from the organization. Designing and planning a performance management system demands consideration of several issues from setting of organizational goals to the audit of the system. To summarize the discussion, in relation to performance, organizations generally introduce a system that takes care of attainment of organizational goals through continuously keeping a check on the performance of the employees. Such a system is popularly known as performance management system or PMS. Performance management is a resource that is used to keep a track on the performance of the employees in the organization. It is considered as an effective aid for business intelligence. An effective performance management system establishes true pay for performance culture in the organization and eventually offers increased employee engagement. Every performance management system must possess certain essentials related to issues like committed apex body, complete involvement, training, 
performance acknowledgement and incentive. Conceptual model of performance management system includes elements such as alignment of objectives, performance need estimation, setting performance expectations, activate performance management process and measuring performance management effectiveness. Happy learning!